What's up guys? Hefe coming to you from Hefe's Fish Room. Uh, that's Jeff to any of you new viewers out there or JW Heiser1302 or JWiser1302. Uh, I was dubbed that so you know any three of those or four of those oh whatever it is uh, any of those. Um, as y'all can see some of these eggs are fungusing over. Um, by the time they hatch about an eighth of them will be like that. Anybody that breeds uh, cichlid y'all know that they fungus over so there's nothing wrong uh, it's those uh, the opaque ones are the ones that are uh, if I can focus here the opaque ones they're the ones that are fertilized and the fungus over ones uh, are either dead eggs or they didn't quite get all the fertilization they need and then they died so um, yeah, so I'll get a brood of probably about three, maybe four hundred out of that. And uh, I'll have them for sale once they reach about a quarter of an inch to half an inch. Uh, real cheap. Y'all know I'm in it for the hobby. Um, you know, I like making money too, but I want people to enjoy their fish. Uh, and then what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, Mr. Mel Dovi here coming up to the glass to greet us. Saying, where's my food at, bitch? Get my food in here. Don't make me bite your ass. Look at him. Come on, feed me, please. Please feed me, I'm so hungry. Okay. Okay, Mr. Dovi, I'll put some food in your tank. Uh, before I go over there, I wanted to show y'all something else. Uh, I put a couple of those Massive Board Delight um, pellets in here. As y'all can see, I already have a dominant Umbi. He's running this bitch. Look at him, there he is right there. Uh, look at him, look at him, chasing the Freddy. Man, what, what, what? Man. But, uh, they pick at those, uh, and I thought that was cool because I can put two of them in there and they can pick at them all day. And, uh, you know, oh, oh, meow, Damn, fish are fast. Look at him. But, uh, y'all can kind of see that red stripe through his fin. He is looking beautiful. And uh, I don't know if the other one's a male um, or a female. I mean, it's way too early to tell anyway, guys. But, you know, I kind of like making a guesstimate and, uh, you know, finding out if I'm right or wrong. Uh, that's how we get smarter in the hobby. So I'm going to say that this dominant one here is a male. And, you know, y'all stay tuned to find out um, for when he gets older. But, uh, yeah, these uh, Massive Board Delight pellets, uh, they soften up as soon as they hit the water to give it a texture of an actual, you know, uh, something that a predator would eat. Uh, so the fish love it, and apparently the fry do too. With these guys here, um, feeding them uh, Daphnia um, has a pretty good vegetable content, got some protein, some fibers. Um, and they seem to enjoy it. Uh, I squirt a little more than what they eat in there so they can kind of graze on it. Uh, Y'all can see they've uh, put some size on. Their stomachs are looking really healthy. Um, and, you know, they're swimming around. They're not really attacking each other yet. They're kind of still, uh, you know, first grade kind of friend acting. Uh, once they get about another half inch, guys, uh, you know, they're going to go in here with the other guys. But, uh... They pick on their own species, but they're not picking on, you know, by species. So, you know, y'all know how it is with these uh, Central and South Americans. But, uh, yeah, they're eating that Daphnia pretty good. Uh, once they get a little bit bigger, I'm going to try to bump them to the Massive Board of Light. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and speaking of food, guys, this DIY Sunday, I'm going to be making, uh, teaching y'all how to do uh, your own fish food. Got a little male dovi right there. Little mill dovi action. Say cheese. Say cheese, dovi. Okay, don't. But uh, we'll be using uh, Knox Original Gelatin Unflavored. Uh, has five calories and I think two grams of protein. Yes. So it's a really good uh, inert substance to put all the ingredients you want in your own fish food together um, and I'll show y'all some tips and tricks of how to make it float or how to make it sink you know and uh, you know I'll be showing how to make it and then I'll show the finished project I'm gonna try to make some and then have it ready for the video to where I can show y'all what it looks like before 
it cures and then I can show y'all what it looks like after so uh, stay tuned for that for DIY Sunday and uh, you know we'll be working with trying to break a pellet so I can give it to these guys show y'all a little feed in action watch how he hits it watch him watch boom there's some more Mr. Dovi. Uh this guy man he's uh he's getting kinda kinda angry you know I get kinda close and he kinda looks at, look at the way he's looking at me like get close and I'll break that damn phone look at him you better get it away from my tank you better get it away. Look how he's scooting closer. Uh, normally, guys, dove eyes this small, you see him running and stuff, man. It may be because there's a female in the tank. He's, you know, kind of coming out of his shell early. Um, I've done this before where I've separated, you know, two smaller specimens. And uh, I've never had a smaller dove eye quite act the way this one does. I think he's going to be a beast. Uh, Y'all can see his nuchal hump up there or knuckle hump. Uh, it's, that's another tomato tomato thing. Uh, I think a lot of people prefer to say nuchal, um, but I'll say both just for the sake of arguing. Um, I like saying knuckle because it's easier instead of you know trying to pronounce it all Germany and you know with all that filthy pig Latin. But uh, you can see the female back there. She's looking really good. Uh, I'll try to get her to come out trying to keep this video short guys I know it's getting late and, you know we all have stuff to do Let's see if I can get her to come out maybe maybe no no female dovi action well okay maybe she'll come out here in a minute but uh, that male is looking really good and uh, let's see what else oh a little update on the algae scrubber uh, that whole screen's starting to fill up, guys. Uh, Y'all can't see it too well on the left side. Maybe if I scoot. There you go. There you go. And, uh, you know, it's getting greener and greener. Uh, it's actually showing up in the camera now. It's how green it is. But uh, that'll get better and better as it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. But, uh, yeah. So, there's that umby again. Man, he's starting to look good and I'm gonna call it a he guys because you know what fish that acts that dominant when they're that small normally they turn out to be males I mean look he's our I mean he's just that's all he does is chase people watch him go down get a little bit of food and then watch him take off uh oh uh oh there's another one coming down oh yeah yep see yeah yeah like little race cars running around there. Y'all remember micro machines? That's what this reminds me of, little micro machine. Look at that. Mr. Umby. They got another one here. Whoop. And give me some of that. Get all my food. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on in the fish room, guys. Uh, it's getting up to nine minutes now. But uh, <clears throat> oh, let me feed uh, big Mr. Mel Dovi over there for y'all. There you go, Mr. Dovi. There's some food for you. Pow! It's so weird that that little one comes up to the camera. And then this beast over here is just being non-beastly. Whoa, I dropped way too many pellets in there. Oh well, he'll eat them all. Let's see if it comes around again. He's starting to get some magnificent colors on him. Look at that. He's starting to have some green show up in his cheek or gill plates. With all the techies out there. He's starting to get like an iridescence inside his uh, dorsal. His caudal fin is just this brilliant aqua blue. And then a parting shot of the Jaggies with eggs. So, uh, as always, guys, hope y'all like the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Remember, DIY Sunday coming up this Sunday is make your own fish food with Jeff. All right. Peace out, guys.